Sometimes you feel like a nut. Good morning, farmers. I have been seeding away for a while this morning. It's I just I just checked the time. It is past ten o'clock, and uh, we're about seventy-five percent done with seeding the field. And I'm almost out of seed actually. Uh, we'll have to head back to the farm shortly. Got uh, a worker over there. He's seeding that field over there. Now that should be the last time I have to hire someone this season. I think. I haven't checked all the fields down here. I did check this morning all the fields up by the farm just to make sure that they are done. And they are done. No more work up by the farm. Uh, everything will be down here, which isn't much to begin with. Uh, basically, it's us seeding this field, the workers seeding that field. And some of these fields need to be fertilized. Some have, some haven't. Uh, don't ask me which ones, because... Heck, even I don't know at this point which ones are done, which ones aren't down here. Uh, I kind of did them willy-nilly as I went along, so I'm not quite sure. Uh, what day is the 16th? So, yeah, we'll be done by the 20th of September, no problem, which we kind of did already a few episodes ago. Everything was going according, if everything went according to plan, which it is. Which is great because... I don't like seeding too late. I don't, you know, one year I finished, I think it was my first or second year, I finished seeding like the 25th of September, and I'm like, okay, so I'm going to have a little bit of a break here to catch my breath and do some stuff around the farm. Then April 1st comes, it's like, nope, everything's ready. It's like, okay. So I try to seed between, I try to get all my fields done between the 10th and the 20th. It gives me like uh, 10 days in game days to fool around. Uh, do what I need to do uh, maybe go chat with some people or something I don't know I, I really get on chatting with people because it doesn't seem I don't seem to make any more friends I can't give out gifts uh, I put all this stuff away in my chest upstairs in the attic so I got I, I quit trying to make give out gifts I was I was carrying a whole bunch of stuff in my inventory never got the uh, the chance to give out a gift even to my wife. I never give a gift to my wife either. So, yeah. But, as for today, uh, like I said, and there we go. We're out of seed. Uh, so, yeah, as I said, I need to seed this field and go refill. <laughs> so, we're 77% done, so like a half a tank of seed or whatever would do it. Um, I do want to finish seeding the field first. Just to get another big step out of the way and that means uh, once we get done with that is this fertilizing that's all that's left I can see that field the reason why I parked the tractor there with the cedar yeah the cedar the fertilizer uh, you can see the middle of the field needs to be fertilized that's where I ran out last time when I was down here with it so since we're going by a couple of these fields this one over here is not fertilized that one's fertilized okay I'm probably going to have to double check again and everything because I'll forget. Uh, that one's fertilized. I, don't, I can just tell by looking at it. But uh, we need to head back to the farm, fill up with some seed, get back, get our butts back down here and seed again. So we'll just call it, it's 11 o'clock. It'll probably be pretty close to like 12.30 uh, when we get back to the field. It's the only thing that that kills me a little bit about the game is that we can't have other storage points because I have to go way back to the farm refill. This kills a lot of your day. Which, in real life, I mean, I wish, uh, well, what, what we could use is like a... Oh, what, uh, great, I'm losing my uh, train of thought of the word there, but uh, where you can bring seed to the field. Refill it. Transport. But we had no transport, so we got to go all the way back to the farm just to fill up the cedar. Now imagine, I mean, that's just these fields. I mean, the same thing if you went to these fields, you'd have, you'd have to go all the way up. To, yeah, yeah, it's just, that's why I haven't bothered with those big fields down there, because is this too far for us right now? And sometimes those big fields down there, you get quests to cultivate or plow the field when it's got harvest ready to go in, so you can go down and 
That's when you go down and harvest it, then do the job, and you get tons of money that way. Up and over the hill, as one would not really do. But we should have just enough canola. It's not going to actually uh, fill the, the cedar that what we got in storage. But we should have more than enough to finish the field down there. And once again, I'm not going to bother mowing this yard at this stage because when April 1st comes around, from what I remember, the grass just regrows completely anyways. Fill the cedar. Yes, please. And back to the field. Now the last few days of the season what I'll do is I check the inventories for like the seed and the fertilizer. Uh, make sure we got enough of what we need for next season. Nothing worse than next season starting and then realizing oh I don't have any of that seed. This year I may do it differently because we're trying to reach our goal of one three quarter million dollars in the bank and it's going to be rather tight if we can do that or not so I may buy the seed after I can buy it I mean it's not too hard to buy a seed just go to the agricultural store and sit there for 20 minutes while you only can buy 1,000 at a time oh, I wish that slide bar would just go to like the 5,000 actually it's been so long I just I don't know why I had a flashback there when when I used to have the Jack Bear traveling back and forth. Back when I first started back in last December when the Jack Bear we didn't we didn't have the pickup truck or any transportation when you, when the game first starts. You just you know, you get the you get the first quest from Oliver, like, hey, fix the barn and you get the, the Jack Bear. It's like, okay, thanks. And having only one vehicle and my wife, who used to live down here, I used to take get in the Jack Bear every day and make slowly make my way down here in the Jack Bear. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna I don't want to see that side all day long. We have a travel down here, what is that? Twenty four miles at twenty four kilometers an hour? Just to talk to her for a couple seconds and and then drive all the way back to the farm because all the fields were back there. But, 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 but. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> That's why now I just use the Jack Bear as a teleport. I, ha I had my time with the Jack Bear. So not much more left of this field to do. Should not take me too long. Then when we get done, we'll, we'll head back to the farm, empty the cedar, I'll wash it, park it up for the year. I'm actually going to leave it outside and, and the elements don't really care. Uh, I think it's right, yeah, I see where I left off, where it ran out, I should say. And uh, we should also be done with the, our wife's tractor. So, you know, we'll just... Well, like I said, we'll wash the cedar after we empty it, park that up for the year, uh, wash our wife's tractor, refill it with fuel. Should be done with it for the year. I don't plan on using it anymore. And then uh, we got two jobs we're going to go do after I do all that. And then if we have any extra time, we'll uh, I should be able to get uh, some fertilization in artificial fertilization in with the uh, our tractor that's down here because it's not going to take too long to spread that around we'll try to hit all the small fields first make sure they're all done hopefully uh, get all the small fields done I, yeah like I said that, that tank should be able to handle everything down here um, I won't touch this field at all because this will take two it should take two tanks 
like a tank and a half or a tank and three quarters, something like that. But we get done, we get done. Oh yeah, so what time? Oh, so we got back here in about an hour because well, those call was like one hour to go back and forth. So that wasn't too bad actually. It's not like I had to go down to the uh, old mill. But I think what I'll do at this moment is uh, I'll bring you back when we're just about done with this field. You can see it's not that much more. You can kind of see the width right there. You can see me overlapping because I'm not paying attention. So yeah, I'll bring you back in a second. Taking a deep breath because we are almost done with the big field seating. Almost. I can smell victory. Well, I wouldn't say victory, but you know. You know what I'm saying? Spend a lot of time in this field. Actually, you can see the shadow getting longer in the tractor already. It's almost 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Holy crap. But uh, we do have enough seed in the tank, as I thought it would. Plenty. Just plenty. But I would like to see how much of the field we actually got seeded. When we're done. I mean, I don't... You know, it's one of those things that it doesn't look like you missed any spots. But then when you get done, it's like... How did I only get like just barely over 99%? That worker's still going on up there even though he's got half the field that we got so I mean it's way less than half the field but uh, the little break in between of doing this and, and fertilizing uh, doing the transport job and uh, house inspection is going to be nice Then we'll just do some quick fertilizations and uh, we'll call it on an episode. And then uh, not many more episodes for the season actually because it's not going to take us long to fertilize. I'm hoping that we have a field, you know, maybe this field will be one of them that uh, doesn't grow at all until the last day of the season so I can maybe bring down the liquid fertilizer and empty it but alright so it should at least be 99% but how much is 99% uh, 9965 I'll take that what did I say it looks like he was stuck up there whatever let him do what he needs to do or what she needs to do because what we need to do is drive back to the farm and uh, take care of this equipment for the for the winter season yeah, I'd say he's about maybe 80% done up there maybe hey Maya what's up Actually, it's been so long now, I can't remember when we started harvesting our fields. I want to say it was like August 20th or something like that. So it's been about a month. But there were a few days in there where we had a, I skipped because the last three fields that we harvested were not ready for about four or five days. And that's because in the middle of the season, I planted corn in there. Or maize, whatever you want to call it. I never, I never really take the road down and up. 
I always just drive over the field. Then cut across the road right here. I don't know why I check for traffic. Usually traffic stops. Never had a problem traffic not stopping. Man, I would really like to work on these buildings more. Fix them up better. Put all new material on them. Change them up. Kind of like we did with our homestead. Yeah, our homestead is all new material on it. And here's a helpful. Here's a helpful little tip for you. If you've been playing a game and you haven't upgraded your your barn to all new new material, uh, your cows will produce more milk and your chickens will produce more eggs if it's all new material rather than just fixing it up like you do in the beginning. But if you replace it with all new boards and whatnot, your animals will actually produce more product. All right, step one. While we're in here, so see, I'm out of canola, but I got tons of pea, soy, lupine, and yeah, I got grass, barley, maize, tons of wheat. So, uh, the first part of the year, I'm not planting canola. I mean, we're, we're going to harvest how many fields of canola. So, we'll be replanting it with a whole bunch of other stuff. So, we don't, I don't see no need to buy more seed for this year. Fertilizer, we may need. I mean, what are we talking about? We got canola now. We got 252. But, uh, yeah, beginning of next year, no, no canola, please. All right, we'll back up the cedar. We will wash that because it may never rain again, except for April 1st, when all of our fields will be ready for harvest. <laughs> all right, let's wash her vehicle and refuel it. Yeah, when the game uh, had a problem with, with the glitching about respawning the sheet metal, the base game sheet metals, that's why I got I got uh, five of them there. Kind of forgot that I had lowered the cedar to unhook it. I'm like, why isn't that unhooking? That's a little of the farming simulator in me right there, where sometimes you can drop in farming simulator, you can just drop the stuff before lowering it. All right, let's park this right here. I'm trying to turn the engine off like in farming simulator. That's great. Uh, okay. What we need to do now is all of our jobs are up here. Hello, Jack Bear. Uh, they're in the town of Redberry. Well, to fix the building jobs in Redberry, the transport job, I gotta go down and see Steve. Uh, Frank is over here somewhere. Hey, dude. Hey. Hey. Yeah, you. Jesus Christ, what the hell Hello? are you doing? Sleeping? Hmm. Hmm, yeah, he must have been sleeping. I am looking for work. Got anything for me? There is something I need, indeed. Care to bring the package to me? My friend has it now. That's actually a good Sounds price, good. sir. I'll take care of this. Well, for transport jobs, that is a good price. And now we'll travel down to our pickup truck that we conveniently leave down here next to Steve. Or Steve's building. I'm here for the package. Sure, there it is. 
someone did uh, mention in the discussion forum. But I think I've read this before in there, but it was a recent post that someone's put in there. They want to know if Steve might, you know, if he might be a drug dealer and we're just his drug mule bringing it to all of his customers. I was like, yeah, that's how it works sometimes. Uh, can I, come on. Oh, come on, let me, there we go. So we're being the drug mule today. Frank Frank wants his wants his drugs. And Steve does is well if you think about it, Steve does live on the port, the so you requested. You know, they come in uh, they you. come in on a sneaky little ship in the middle of the night. Steve takes them and then we deliver them. Alright, so there is a job offer running away from us. In a way. Over here. Trying to see who's got it. Amelia. Okay. Really? I'm, I'm that fat? I can't fit through there? Hi there. Hello. Well, hello. Do you do? Uh, where are you gonna send me? Is there something I can help you with? Please just let it be in town. A building on my farm needs some care. What do you think? I think you should be able to do it yourself, but. Oh, come on. Sounds good. I'll take care of this. Is it because of the rude remark I just made? Cheap. Very cheap. Uh, looks like it's gonna be the white building in the corner. We're gonna go stand in the corner. Like I'm in a timeout. Because of that remark I just made. There she goes. So it's a little bit of cash, a little bit of social points. I do this for 15 more days. I hope it will change Thank someday. You. After Here's all. some for you. There's the zombie eyes. So, like I said, we do this for about 15 more days. Absolutely. That sucks. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yep, yeah, I'm trying to hit tab like you do in farm, Farming Simulator, because I'm an idiot. Can't get my game straight. Uh, Cedar's right here. Oh, uh, yes. I was like, uh, what am I doing first here, down here? I gotta do this field that we haven't quite finished. So yeah, like I was saying, for 15 more days, I, do, I try to take all the jobs that I can. Uh, we'll get the social points. I'll get some money, but I'll be doing most of that off camera. And that'll help us get to the one and three quarter million mark. And there's something else I could do to help us get up there. But I'm not sure. Oh, you can see where I ran out right there. Um, I could suffer at the, in the kitchen. Just take all the milk that we got. And, uh, yeah, make condensed milk. But last I remember seeing, we had like 3,500 cans of milk in storage. And only be able to cook one at a time and have to keep pressing <laughs> the button. Uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe we'll try it out a little bit uh, in the next episode. Yeah, I'll just make a full episode of me taking milk and, and making condensed canned milk and and tomatoes and and whatnot. Uh, I, I don't even know, even know what the price difference is from regular milk to condensed milk. Uh, from regular tomatoes to canned tomatoes. Don't know. Haven't got a clue. But the money would add up. That is for sure. I mean, if I did that, I think we would meet, reach the one three quarter million mark. So, you know, I pretty much in my my heart and brain says I really need to, I really need to get that done is because I've been saying it so much in the past episodes, and I feel like if we don't, I, I have failed. 
failed at what? It's a game, but you know, that's that's the competitive side of me. <laughs> I kind of want to get it done. And part of me wants to go back, look at my videos, to see what we started the year at. Unless someone uh, already knows. I mean, I think we started when we started April first. We were somewhere. Was it just shy of six hundred grand in the bank? So we've made like a million million dollars this year. And that's uh, after buying all the fields down here. Which really the fields don't cost that much. 88% uh, fertilized because it's a small field. And any little bit you miss is big enough as it is. Alright. Uh... What about this field here? This field is not fertilized. What do I got? 74% left? Well, we got... We got this. Uh, is that guy finished? That guy looks like he's finished. So no more workers. No more plowing or cultivating. No more seeding. Just fertilizing and doing jobs for the rest of the year. Uh, also while I was seeding, I gotta take care of that star or it's gonna bug the crap out of me. Uh, thank you. I actually may, uh, do an episode where on the last day of the year we mow the lawn. Just to see if April 1st still makes the grass, uh, full height again. Which to me, if, if it is, I hope they fix that because really, when you, when spring comes, your grass ain't just going to be magically tall as it can be. But there's, I think there's been a couple updates since, uh, last time I went through a winter season. And the one thing you should never do before you cross over from one season to the other is sleep a week. Because that's, there's something in the game coding that when some people do that, when they wake up April 1st, all of the crops are dead. So I always recommend the last day of the season before you go night nights in the bedtime is uh, save the game. That way if something goes haywire during the winter transformation, you can always just reload the game back up and try again. Now, I haven't had the issue yet, but then again, I haven't slept a week through the winter season. But it seems like it's been a long time since I've uh, been through the winter season. I want to say that was back in April, I think. Oddly enough, April. Alright, try to get every little cranny that I can. 89%, huh? And we'll get the corners. That should get us above 90. The big field will be a couple trips. We probably will have to buy some fertilizer. I shouldn't say probably. Let me just come on and say it. We're going to have to buy some fertilizer. <laughs> Alright, 91%. Okay, let me stop there for a second because it's going to be easier to do this. So, fertilized. 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 We know that one's not not fertilized. Of course that's not fertilized and that's not fertilized. So I think with what we got left I'm going to try to get this small field done and see about that field as well. Because we only got 37% left. 
and it's six o'clock in the evening so it's just enough for us to empty this tank head back to the farm we'll fill her up and we're ready to go be ready to go in the next episode so actually next episode uh, will probably be us finish up fertilizing uh, maybe mow the yard and we'll take a look at to see how much of a price difference there is between milk and condensed milk and try to see if we were to do all 3,000 of them and along with the, what is it, tomato? I think it's tomato. Canned tomato? Been so long since I've seen the, the condensed cans, I don't really... <laughs> I know it's milk, I think it's tomato. And I think there's even a condensed can of fish. Which, you know, must be sardines, I guess. I don't know. But we'll see what the price difference is. See how much, you know, if we get that much more for it. I already know it's not worth my time to sit there and do 3500 at the stove. Uh, it'd be great if you could, I know someone has mentioned this in the request form that when you get to the stove you can like click on condensed milk and as long as you got it in your inventory you can just select like 3000 cans and it'll just cook them all, not all at once, but uh, I can't remember, is it 3 seconds per can or something like that? And you won't be able to go or do anything. You just have to sit there while it makes them all. Uh, I want to see. So we still got 20% left. So as we do that little pass right there. We just got three fields left to fertilize with the artificial fertilizer. Granite one's the big one. And then you got this decent sized field which is uh, two and a half. And I think this one up here is two and a quarter. Let's go up here and empty this thing. Not all in one spot. That'd be very bad. Very, very bad. The old mill, I will see you next April. When we have our wheat. I probably should have done barley, but winter wheat, you'll get more winter wheat than barley. At least I, when I did the test way back when. Basically, I just took those two fields that we did with wheat, planted one with barley, one with wheat. And I know one feels bigger than the other, but I just did the total amount of grains. Divided it into how many hectares it was, and we got more wheat than barley. I did a lot of testing when the game first came out. Of course, it was, you know, December and January, and where I live, December and January, it's like, yeah, I'm staying inside, man. Staying inside. So we'll get some of the field covered. Yep, so we are now empty. So for what we got left to do, it's, it's definitely going to take at least two trailers of uh, artificial fertilizer to do all three of these three fields. And we got enough for what? One and a half. So we're going to have to buy some fertilizer, obviously. Kind of knew that, but I'm just trying to guess how much it is. It's not going to cost us that much. It'll be like $1,200, $1,500, something like that. So I'll, pro I'll probably just go buy, uh, on the way back now, I'm just going to go and buy 2000 So I'll give us like, uh, you know what? Farm stats. Uh, manure stored. Nope, 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 nope. Where's... Yes, yeah, so we got 1,200. That'll give us 3,200. I'll give us three trailers fulls. That should be more than enough. So, I'm going to head there, buy fertilizer, head back to the farm, fill her up, park it for the day. And that's kind of like where we'll start the next episode. We'll come down, 
We'll start fertilizing, do some jobs, mow a little bit of the lawn here or there, maybe do some cooking, some things that, uh, you know, now that we got time to, I don't want to say fool around, but venture in other parts of the game that I hardly ever touch because it's not worth it, but it's the end of the year, time to start settling up the farm and yeah, we need it. We need it. We need like fifty, uh, fifty-two thousand dollars more, which I think we can get. I think, but uh, we'll find out. We got like uh, fifteen days left. But that's gonna do it for today on the farm, guys. Thank you for watching, as always. Hopefully, you are enjoying the video, and I'll see you in the next one. But until then, have a good one.